welcome back guys and to those who new to my channel also welcome wherever you are good morning because over here in Malaysia it's morning time almost afternoon 11.36 am alright I'm doing a request problem with this uh, RPG sub across also to those new to this uh, Yuzu emulator and how to install how to download how to do the setting except I don't share the game website that one you can search google search all right the problem with this uh sharp of course r5g the device itself framework let me show you the problem here the gamepad layout it's out this device is a 2k display the scaling are 219 the normal scaling are 169 go over here graphic this one is trash Post twenty one nine. The touch screen still out. That one the scaling are for the game itself. Even you put it the standard one the default one the aspect ratio default 69 whatever game see all right let me uninstall it first. Here, cash, cash storage. All right. To get the emulator, always get it from the official site or uh, from the Play Store. on your browser search just search for Yuzu Yuzu for Android GitHub go to the release release the latest one are uh, one nine one this is the latest version they release it daily sometime delay a few days maybe they're having a lot of work whatever the reason this app always got update every day so this one is two weeks ago that's the latest one thirteen of 
January, yes, this one. Get the F1, not the AAB. This one for developer. If you are a Patreon on this uh, Yuzu, you will have access to this uh, AAB app. This is for development. Your downloads already there, alright. Wait, but this is my file browser internal download. This is the latest one. Link for the driver, link for the key in the description. Let's install the app. On some device, you will get a warning there. Just proceed. I already checked this uh, app on this uh, security. Only one security issue with this app. Add to off screen. Right, open the app. First timer, this is what you do. Select key. Product key. Always read. Select the product key. My product key, I will give you a link for it in the description. Inside here, I got the product key. This is the version 17.0.1 KISS Select Product Key Alright, after that Your game folder Select your game folder The best is you create one folder and copy all the game to that folder Don't copy to the internal because inside the internal there are a lot of other stuff a lot of other file better create a folder and copy the game ISO to that folder add game my game folder as switch right this is my game folder because I got the SD card also that's mean I got two game folder use this folder Hello and deep scan. Okay, continue. Now it's scanning the game inside my internal. All right, that's it. That's the setting. The setting are very simple. First setting, and this is the game setting. The game setting, there is a global setting and another one, custom setting. Custom setting, that means that setting only work on that game only, for the particular game. So because the game, some of it running better on this driver, some of it running better with this setting, so you must use a custom setting for individual game that's up to you. you if you want to use the global you can set it manually this one is the global setting for the custom setting just hold the icon of the game setting also but this one only for this game when you start it just start it here Alright, now I'm using the global setting. Global setting means all the setting are for this, all the game inside your folder. Alright, the setting are depend totally depend on your CPU, GPU. 
It's run some game run better on dog mode and some well the performance drops when you use top uh, dog mode because dog mode are full HD increase the resolution graphic over here the accuracy of the GPU renderer better set it at normal some game using high but now all the game already using normal they fix the problem with this Juzu uh, emulator you can reduce the scaling resolution to get a better FPS if your device are capable of running the game so use the stock resolution same as the Nintendo Switch this one is up to you so. sync video sync with your display sync if your display got a 120 hertz like this uh, sharp RPG it's better this one not some game you can uh, play around with this thing it may improve the graphic a bit but by linear are the default setting this one also can be used uh, FXAA or SMAA filtering also at the auto this is for SD at 65 aspect ratio let's say 69 a standard switch scaling for Arduino you can force the GPU a bit push it a bit maybe you can increase a bit of FPS the performance but it will heat up but not so much the heat up because the pawn already got the thermal profile that profile will reduce the speed of the CPU and GPU it will throttle it to reduce the, sp uh, the heat right debug always use Vulcan some game you can uh, enable the graphic debugging and some don't and some use this uh, CPU debugging and dynamic uh, just in time the JIT compiler the compiler are more stable than this uh, native code execution NCE but this NCE the FPS are much higher than this uh, dynamic on some game some game either one are working but most of the time dynamic are a bit slower the FPS are a bit lower than the NCE but more stable Alright, that's it, the setting, and the last one, most important, GPU driver. At the moment, I am using the system GPU driver. The system driver, uh, if you use the developer check app, go to the hardware. Over here, you can see the... GPU, the driver, OpenGL version 502, uh, OpenGL S 3.2, 502, just look at this, D at 502, on this at 6.5, the latest one, I uh, 530, you can use the custom one, 615, that one, much better. 
this one only available on a custom ROM. Alright, let's start the game with this setting. Only using the system driver will it run? Let's see. What's the problem? Okay, the scaling. Out. Now we are using the system driver. The game running with the system driver actually. Only some graphic glitch. So to fix the the scaling of this uh, touchscreen, the game page, you reinstall back the app. Run it back. Update. Okay, done. Only for this uh, sharp arcos R5G. For other device, I think no problem with this is with the touchscreen. Only this see? for this uh, sharp across R5G. If you restart it, and then the scale also gone again. Back to the <laughs> well. It's the problem with the device uh, framework. The scaling there. Nothing we can do. So only option you can edit the position of this uh, touchpad according to your finger which one better for you it's up to you because you are the one who play actually this is not my actual setting On some game, this uh, action button on the most of the edge, this uh, right analog, I put it over here, on some game. Done, editing, right. After you restart, this thing will be good. <laughs> Not sure what happened to this shop. <coughs> the scaling framework problem. The Yuzu team already done their best because some of the scaling fit the fall pond, especially the Samsung fall because the scale of that uh, display are different. 4 3, I think. Because you open to flip, flip one to right. Some game run better on the system driver. Some got issue with the graphic. For example, this Resident Evil Five. This is an older game. This game really all. skip the cutscene the cutscene when you use the system driver especially this uh, OpenGL 502 the glitch are less except in game background <laughs> as the smoke or a dust actually it's a smoke yes we beat you this black market weapon still going down in kijuju you see the IPS uh, at the moment 22 alpha team has already infiltrated the area and you will be going in as backup rendezvous with your contact at the butcher's shop you can gear up and get briefed on the mission there okay Let's try using a custom GPU driver. The driver only for Qualcomm SOC, the Adreno GPU. It's not for other SOC. 
such as uh, MediaTek or Kirin or whatever other SOC but that one the driver cannot be used GPU driver link for the driver I will include in the description by Kim Chi the one who compile the driver for this use emulator or any other emulator you can use the driver also I'm using the TUNIP revision top there are three driver for this side the aggressive right just yes, install like that very simple some driver may work and some may not and some will cause crashing and some will be stable but the best driver for your device are your own driver from the system if it is crashing or graphic glitch then you try the custom GPU driver you will see the graphic will improve the FPS may be improved on some driver on some SOC, not all all SOC are equivalent, especially the 855. That one really troublesome. Eight four five, so far no problem with the, the custom GPU driver. Eight six zero, eight six five. 732, 720, but we pick the this is Kirk. background. Can you, Can you read me? Chris here, coming in loud and clear, Kirk. Yes, we read you. There's a black market weapon deal going out in Kikuju. That's where Irving will be. That's now 20 for us. Alpha team has already infiltrated the area, and you will be going in as backup. Rendezvous with your contact at the butcher's shop. You can gear up and get briefed on the mission there. Also, another problem with this device, if you restart, let's say you opt upon the setting for the touchscreen, the gamepad will be back to the... <laughs> After this, I'll show you what I mean. Framework. The software framework. Maybe some flip phone also having the problem like this. I'm not sure but this for sure this 2K display of this R5G you just open any game and you will see the game patch see maybe out again you already done the editing and then it's back to that position again so to fix it you just rerun the app I mean reinstall why channel download update again done now I got another game inside my folder on my SD card so I add another folder to the game Manage game folder, add another folder. If you got many folder, many game inside my SD card, there is another game folder. Switch, 
Let's just follow. Now I got two game folder. One and two. This is the primary inside the internal. This is the external cut. Let it One internal, one uh, SD card. They are different. This one one seven zero. This one one nine zero. Two version. Two are the same. Yeah, only the best game. One to zero are the best game. Even uh, some game only running better on the best game, and some on the update. This one. One six zero. You can disable the update if you got the update version, or you can uh, add the update inside the same folder. One base game, one update, or, or any uh, any other DLC, the download downloadable content. You just go to add on. You just install. One is your best game. If you want to use the update, you just install the update one. Or you want to disable the update, just disable it. You're just using the best game. Let's see. It become one zero zero only the best game. Enable it back. Plus update plus DLC. Okay, the info. With one six zero again. So, just we pick the touch screen. Let's try the Tears of Kingdom, Legend of Zelda. The touch screen problem with this uh, sharp across R5. See? See? You rerun the app every time after we start. <laughs> well, what can we do if I can unlock this device if that is if maybe I'm the first one in the world can unlock this device but sorry because I can't get the fire horse the loader for this device Actually, this device not much problem. Yeah. Play around with this uh, GPU driver. Sometimes it works, sometimes it crash. But when you crash, try to clear the cache. Shadow cache cleared. When you run the game, it recompile back the shader. Maybe the previous shader corrupted or what's up, whatever reason. It's running this game actually very good. It's an open world game. Took me one month I think to beat the game. 
one month to be taken because a lot of things inside a lot of happening you can go there go there you can go everywhere you want see second run should be better all right for the newcomer i hope you learn something how to do the setting it all depend on your pawn also the gpu play around with it i am not saying my setting are good also the setting cannot be used also on your pawn because some pawn it's hard to say it crash when it crash it crash by the dynamic you can reduce the scaling to make it run a bit smoother but i prefer the lowest one uh, at 540p at 360 the tech very blur it's hard to read the text inside the game borderland 2 yes i sorry for the long video on the early version this game are running after they update it it crash let's see now does it fix Maybe crashing, still crashing. Using just in time compiler. Cheat. This cheat compiler, same as this uh, Dolphin emulator. Dolphin are using cheat compiler. The compiler are more stable. Please, I say don't move, please. All right, that's it. Let's learn something. If you have anything to request, just request. But you must be my subscriber. All right, thank you for watching, guys. I will be back with your requests to test some more game. And thank you for watching, stay tuned for the next video.